Tomorrow is Giving Tuesday. This is the 10th year the day will be celebrated, and it's a way for the community to give back. Carlos Flores spoke with a few nonprofits in Spartanburg County on how the annual event will propel them forward. Giving Tuesday is tomorrow, and local nonprofits are hoping for your donations. They could be big or they can be as small as this marble, but all together, they can create a chain reaction that can help change a community. Every dollar, act of kindness, and smile are hoping to pour into Spartanburg County tomorrow evening. The Spartanburg Gives organization will be hosting its third annual Brew Good event to spark the community to give back. 30 organizations are going to fill the freight yard to show off its hard work and show you the good happening in the county. It's one thing to donate online and it's a whole other thing to have a 20 minute conversation with a nonprofit leader and really understand how you can impact their work. One of those organizations is the Chapman Cultural Center, a safe haven for all types of artists across the county. If you want to live in a community that's thriving, growing, where people want to move to, you want to support the arts. If you're into science, the Spartanburg Science Center will also be there, showing how its work is inspiring the next generation of STEM. It has a big impact for us, and this year we're spreading it outward to the schools. Um, if you just give a little bit, then you'll be surprised. You'll be part of something really wonderful. Last year, Spartanburg Gives helped raise more than $140,000, and they hope to top that number this year. But they know they need your help. Philanthropy changes lives, it changes a community, and without the generosity of everyone in Spartanburg County, you know, places like this would not be able to thrive. Use this as your opportunity to come meet some of the organizations that are doing the real work on the ground. Tickets are free and you can RSVP online. In Spartanburg County, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.